the first round of battles is over. Brackets fly in ruins on the ground. Tonight, we recap round two of the Jump Jump and Waterfalls divisions. Join me as we find out who's still alive. Sunset in Kings Bay, Florida, the aquatic Jeanette was on a sand bank. She started looking for food by tapping her paw pads on the water, then dipping her whiskers in to sense the vibrations made by any small fish. After a few tries, she sensed something. She ducked underwater, only to come face to face with the curious manatee. The Janet leaped up into the air, then fell back down in the water, then scrambled out and rushed away from the manatee. The manatee, not, still not quite knowing what is happening, is the winner. The Tenrek, still mostly covered in snot from the last battle, found itself in Texas. He snuffled along, exploring this new environment, and came to the armadillo's burrow, just as the armadillo was coming out. The armadillo looked down at this strange creature in confusion. The fearless Tenric rushed at the armadillo, but this time its spines just bounced off the armadillo's armor. The armadillo turned around and wedged itself in its burrow. After a moment, the Tenric decided just to move along and keep exploring. The armadillo outweights the Tenrec and wins. MC, would it be amazing if I could tell you about an incredible upset? Like, if the spring hare could defeat the number one seeded tiger? Don't you want to believe in miracles? Yeah, well, not today. The spring hare was in an unfamiliar forest with unfamiliar smells and sounds, and, well, it jumped right into the tiger's path and got chomped out of the competition. Tiger wins. As the lower seed, it was time for the Impala to face the perils of all together now, home field advantage. It was transported to the warm waters of an ocean bay. Impalas can swim, and it went for a leisurely dip. However, it disturbed a nearby pod of spinner dolphins who were having a nice siesta. The dolphins were grumpy and went to investigate. The Impala found itself being bumped from below and even bitten. The Impala tried to swing its horns down but ended up inhaling a mouthful of salt water instead. <laughs> Coughing, bleeding, and exhausted, the Impala slowly sank underneath the waves. That's right, baby. Welcome to my locker. <laughs> the spinner dolphins win. Our contenders met in Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park. The flat-headed cat was happily fishing in a muddy creek when it saw the moose approaching. What would the cat do? It considered its options. And as it looked up and up and up at the moose and realized the vast difference in its sizes, it opted for retreat. It worked its way out of the mud and left the scene. The moose wins! Swing. The moon rat was enjoying a nighttime swim in the forests of Ecuador. It swam underwater up a stream, hoping to find some tasty midnight snacks, when it bumped into some tree trunks. But these were not tree trunks. Hey! The tapir lifted one of its feet up sending the mud swirling. The panicked moon rat scrambled and splashed and scratched the tapir's leg. 
the tapir stamped down and squelched the moo rat. The tapir is the winner! The wallaby made it to the second round by upsetting the serval cat. But this time, it found itself high on a mountain as a result of, all together now, home field advantage. It stuck out like a sore uh, wallaby against the rocks. The barrel spotted it and called out a warning. Trace bastards, get off of my property! Feeling scared, cold, and exposed, the wallaby ran for cover. The barrel wins. Anyone else want to try and get on my property? MC, here I am to report on this all rodent battle. The Reckley had just captured a fish and was about to start chomping away on it when there was an ominous creaking sound nearby. The beaver had been gnawing away on a tree and the tree was just about to fall. But the Rackley didn't notice and kept nom, eating. Nom, nom. Timber! The tree crashed inches away from the Rackley. The beaver approached, but then he just pushed the tree into the water so that it could start building the dam, and it swam away. In a stunning upset, the Rackley stays on the battlefield and is the winner! Woo! Wow! And there you have it! March Mammal Madness is full of surprises! Stay tuned for more recaps next week. I am MC Marmot, signing off.